Welcome to the Generations video on how to use the stamp pattern layout tools. Um, for this video we are going to use just a basic circle um, that has a complex fill in there. And actually right now it has an auto judge fill. We're going to change the fill type and also apply a stamp pattern to that. So to select the area we need to right click on the area we would like to change. With that area selected, it has a right click, blue and white flashing lines going around it. We can now go to Stitch and then Stitch Settings, and I'm just left clicking on those. After we click Stitch Settings, we will change this to a complex fill, and we just left click on complex fill. We will also go ahead and use a stamp pattern by check marking the box next to use stamp pattern. And when we do that, the dialog, the stamp pattern layout dialog box appears. If it doesn't appear right away, just click on the edit button right next to use stamp pattern. In here, we do have a library of patterns, and you can see you can use the scroll bar beneath all the patterns to scroll through the different patterns um, to choose one. So we'll just go ahead and choose one of these patterns. When I choose the pattern, I left click on it and it appears now down in my window. In my window, I have four boxes that highlight four parts of the pattern. These four boxes are different layout tools that I can change. The middle uh, pattern, which is the bottom left box, has um, the ability to do two changes. One is the sizing change and also a rotating change and we'll see that in a little bit. But first I'd like to point out that you do have the ability to change things numerically. Um, you can see at the top here we have the sizing and on the right hand side we have the row space offset, column space and offset as well as the rotation of the whole stamp pattern layout. First of all, um, there is a chain link before, above, the, um, above the X and Y size. And when I click on that chain link, it will keep those proportionate. So if I do change the size, X and Y will change together. First of all, we'll go over these four boxes. The first box on the upper left hand side of the four boxes I place my cursor right inside the box on the pattern. I will left click, hold, and drag. And as I drag, that is going to change my row space as well as my offset. It also turns blue and you can see on the right hand side numerically how that is changing. With changing these, I really don't want to overlap anything or um, uh, cross over anything because that confuses the program and when it, that happens it doesn't understand and reverts back to a regular fill type. So I will just change the pattern. Once I let go of my left click it moves it into that position. The upper right hand side box I place my cursor inside of that pattern left click hold and drag. It now turns red and the whole uh, layout changes um, as far as it, the rotation of it. You can see on the right hand side the rotation is changing numerically. So I put that into a position I like. The bottom right box, if I place my cursor inside there, left click hold and drag, it changes the column space and offset. So as I move that column space and offset you can see numerically it changed on the right hand side. Again, you don't want to cross over or overlap anything because this can, uh, you know, confuse the program quite a bit. Now, the bottom left hand side box, this one does two functions. If I place my cursor over one of the dots, which is the X and Y, um, I left click, hold, and drag, and I can change the size up or down. And remember, with that chain link, it is now changing the size X and Y together. If I disable the chain link just by left clicking on it, you can see that I can move over one of the red dots and move just the Y or I can move just the X. So depending upon what you want to do, um, you know, you can change things around by uh, maintaining that aspect ratio or not. The other function that it has is that I can take the if I place my cursor on the inside of that pattern, 
I can left click, hold and drag, and now I can change the unit rotation, which is different than the whole layout rotation, I can change the unit rotation. If I see that layout and I think I like what I see, I can always hit the preview button in the upper right hand side of this box. So I left click on preview and I can preview what that will look like on my design. I can further change it if I'd like and preview it again. Now if you are, um, if you can't see the design very well, you can always use your zoom in and zoom out tool directly on the box at the lower right hand side. Zoom in, we'll zoom in on that, zoom out, we'll just do the opposite and zoom out. So I'm happy with this layout. I'll go ahead and press OK and once I press OK, I will hit OK one more time. It will automatically recalculate and now you can see my pattern is stamped inside of my fill. So it looks like the design is actually stamped within the fill. Thank you for watching.